What is up YouTube? It's your man Lotus here and today we are doing a quick Shinobi Strikers review for Zabuza Momochi, the first DLC character for Season Pass 2, in which I'm going to be going over his ninjutsu, kind of, you know, giving their value in the situations they can be used, and giving some tips on how these jutsu can be countered. So let's go ahead and dive right into things. Starting off with his first ninjutsu, his demon hunter skill, in which, in my personal opinion, his best skill out of his entire kit because guess what everybody defense types have even more super armor the demon hunter skill has a 15 second cooldown and the description reads as follows a jutsu that cloaks the user in a demonic aura the user then performs a charging upward strike the jutsu also prevents them from flinching from attacks for a set period of time now this set period of time is after the skill comes out initially in which defense types will be able to use any of their ninjutsu, any of their attacks, they're just impervious to flinching and they just have set super armor for about, I want to say about 3 to 5 seconds after the initial hit. So you will have 5 seconds of the super armor, it is a 15 second cooldown, and then that means 10 seconds until you get the jutsu back that you will be vulnerable, you know, until you're able to use it again without super armor. The next jutsu in its arsenal is the water prison jutsu. It has an 18 second cooldown and the description reads, perform a charging attack, whoever it hits will be bound by a clone of you. The victim is then trapped in a watery cage that does continuous damage. And in that part, it is similar to its secret technique counterpart. Now, it also shares the similarity that this jutsu does last quite a while. Now, another little icing on the cake is that it uses, utilizes clones in this technique, in which there's not a lot of jutsu that uses clones in this game, so that's a nice little touch that they added on. Now lastly for his secret technique, the hidden mist jutsu. Blind the enemy with mist decreasing their movement speed and disabling their substitution jutsu. The jutsu also increases both the user's attack power and their movement speed. Now in my personal opinion, this jutsu is nothing short of amazing. As you can see on the screen, you cannot see anything if you are, you know, on the receiving end of this jutsu. And it is like this for the entire enemy team and this jutsu covers the entire map. And the only way to cancel out this jutsu early is if you kill the person who casted the jutsu. Now going into the tip portion of this video, starting off with his demon hunter skill, this jutsu does break guards, in which that is another feature outside of the super armor which makes this jutsu a pretty amazing jutsu for defense types. Now ways to counter this jutsu is that it seems this jutsu is weak to binding techniques, meaning any technique that is capable of binding the opponent in place, it will stop them in their tracks, such as the wood strangle jutsu from defense types and potentially these shadow stitching jutsu from hill types. Now the water prison jutsu is a special case in which even with an 18 second cooldown, this jutsu is easily interruptible, even by just a regular kunai. Now, Outside of one-on-one -on -one battles in which you will have to utilize the Demon Hunter skill just to capture an opponent, you know, utilizing the super armor from the skill, in team settings this jutsu is pretty amazing in which, you know, with the help of teammates, you'll be able to sneak someone, in base battle you'll be able to keep people off the point, flag battle, you can keep them away while you steal their flag, combat battle, you know, you can use this jutsu to gain a numbers advantage for a set amount of time, there's multiple uses for this jutsu and it's a high cost, high reward type of jutsu. And for the hidden mist jutsu, the only available thing you can do against this jutsu is utilize the cellular extraction jutsu or one of the other multiple ninjutsu from hill types that are able to cleanse effects in which you are able to cleanse the movement speed penalty and the restriction on your substitution gauge in which you're going to see here on screen. And that is pretty much going to be it for that on this video. And I'm going to end this video by letting it run, showing off the outfit, the hairstyle, and the um, the weapons that you get from Zabuza. You know, from completing the mentor steps. And a little, you no, know, little note for owning the season pass. Now they added to where, if you do own the season pass, you are able to unlock all of the skills from that mentor off rip. You don't have to take them into battle to unlock everything. You just get them immediately. But that is going to be all for this video, guys. I hope you did enjoy this. Uh, share it with your friends. Give the video likes if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for additional Shinobi Strikers content and other anime content on the channel. And I will catch y'all in the next video. Later.